Empire Games opens with pomp, ceremony, colour and cheering. First a procession of the competitors. Britons from all over the world assembled to compete for nothing more than honour and glory. The oath was taken. We, all loyal subjects of His Majesty, will take part in the Games in the true spirit of sportsmanship. In the place of the symbol of peace, the dove, 40,000 pigeons are released. A happy omen. After the opening ceremonies, the various contingents march off and the games begin. The 100 yards final. Miss Hiscock England wins easily from Miss Strike of Canada in 11 and 3 tenths seconds. The half mile, which was an outstanding event. Today, no record was broken, but Edwards' win by eight yards made it a great and unforgettable race. At the bell, the British Guiana representative was leading by about 10 yards, and all Stothards, Bothers and Powell's efforts to overhaul him were of no avail. In the meantime, the field events were being desperately fought out. As expected, Finlay, the English hurdler, proved himself unbeatable at 120 yards. An unfortunate accident befell Fieljum, the South African, who crashed at the eighth hurdle and dislocated his shoulder, throwing Gabriel right out of his stride and virtually out of the race. And here we are at the New Empire Swimming Pool, Wembley, just in time to see the start of the 1500 yards men's freestyle final. Larson Canada's not swimming. Ryan, Australia brings the crowd to their feet with a wonderful burst and wins by three yards. The 100 yards ladies backstroke final. Miss Harding, England, goes straight away to the front. She wins comfortably from Miss Hamilton, Scotland, in the good time of 13 and 4 fifth seconds. Here's some real high diving. The best of a good bunch was Mather, who just won from the Englishman Tomalin with Marchant, also of the home country, third. 